Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite motorcycles Yamaha is making in 2020. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and find out exactly which Yamaha motorcycles rev my heart the most. Starting off this video is probably the most impressive bike Yamaha has made in a very long time, and that's the R1. A bit cliche, I know, but how could I not pick the R1? I still don't love the looks of the bike, and I understand it's not a great street-friendly bike. However, it is an absolute track weapon with its 200 brake horsepower and 440 pound curb weight. And in addition to that, it has a cross-playing crank which gives the exhaust a very unique sound. Here, go ahead and take a listen. And yes, that is the sound of an inline 4 engine with a cross-plane crank. It almost sounds like a V4. It sounds really good, it's very throaty, and it's just a different sound. It's very unique. And truth be told, guys, I love weird and unique motorcycles. I like bikes that do things differently that other bikes just don't do. And that's why I like the R1. And it doesn't just sound good, it also performs well. I've talked to former racers who have ridden just about every super sport known to man and they told me that the R1 is the best bike they've ever ridden. It's one of the easiest bikes to go fast on. This is all thanks to the high-end suspension components and extremely advanced technology rider aids. Also one of my favorite things about the R1 is the instrument cluster. It's a full TFT display and has all the information you could ever need, including a brake force meter so you know exactly how hard you are hitting your brakes. Needless to say, if you ever have a track day planned in your future and are currently shopping for a leader bike, you really should consider the R1. It really is just one of the best bikes out there being offered in 2020. But to get away from the leader bikes, I want to move on to bike number 2 on my list and that is the TW200. Unlike the R1, which is a very technologically advanced motorcycle, the TW200 is an ancient motorcycle that has been unchanged for over a decade. But in the dual sporting world, dependability and reliability are the most important things. But that's not to say the TW200 doesn't have its own quirks. The thing about the TW200 that most people notice is, well, the giant tires. You guys remember when I said I liked weird and unique motorcycles? Well, the TW200 is about as weird as they come. Let's talk about the tires for a minute. The front is a 130 and the rear is a 180. Yup, that's the same size rear tire you would find on a 600, but on a 200. Now admittedly the TW200 doesn't have a ton of power, it is an air cooled 196cc single cylinder that makes around 16 horsepower, so it's definitely geared towards beginners. However I think what makes the TW200 such a fantastic bike is the fact that it is extremely reliable and super simple to work on. This is the definition of a farm bike. Something you can ride every single day and beat up on and have no worries about it breaking and even if you do manage to break it somehow you can still fix it yourself for cheap. Not only that, but these things hold a resale value extremely well. I still see 10 to 15 year old examples being sold for around 3 grand still, which is a lot considering brand new these bikes are about 4500, so they really do retain their resale value very well. And to our final bike, the VMAX. Admittedly, this isn't really my style of motorcycle as most of you guys know, I like sport bikes and dirt bikes, but the VMAX is in a class all on its own. The VMAX is the definition of a muscle bike. It has a 1679cc V4 motor that makes 200 horsepower. The VMAX is quicker from 0 to 60 than even the Kawasaki Ninja H2. The VMAX does so in just about 2.5 seconds. Like I said, muscle bike. Some people don't like the looks of the VMAX. I never minded the looks of it. I always thought it was a bit oddly designed, but I accepted it as it's just bulky because most muscle cars are bulky too. Because again, the VMAX is a muscle bike. The other great thing about the VMAX is the fact that it has so much torque that even though it makes insane power, unlike a sport bike, it won't wheelie as much as it will do a burnout instead. This allows the rider to control the bike a bit easier and get more power out of it to the ground, which definitely helps to achieve that insane 0-60 to 60 time. 
time because you're not fighting the wheelie. The VMAX doesn't have insane top speed or anything like that. It gets maybe 150 miles per hour, but that's mostly because the aerodynamics just are not designed for high speed like a sport bike is. In conclusion, the VMAX is another motorcycle all in its own class. Like I mentioned before, I love unique motorcycles, and that's why I chose the Crossplane R1, the giant tired farm bike TW200, and the powerful VMAX muscle bike. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more of these videos for other manufacturers, then please let me know down in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and stay safe.